Thank you. You may all be seated. It is my privilege to introduce our mayor, Mayor Brandon Scott. Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women 2022 commencement. Let's do it a little better than that. Good afternoon. All right. Thank you, uh, family, friends, educators, and most importantly, the phenomenal Bliss Class of 2022. Good afternoon and congratulations, young ladies. And just in case you saw it on Instagram, no, the mayor isn't missing. The mayor is here with the important people who are you, young ladies. It is truly an honor to be here with you as you celebrate this important milestone in your life. I want to thank everyone in this building who has poured into these young ladies, your parents, your family, your friends, your teachers, your staff. Thank you to each and every one of you for allowing these young ladies to grow into this version of themselves, and we know that the best are yet to come. So let's give them a round of applause. I often say that this generation, our students are our most precious and greatest resource, and it is our job to prepare them, protect them, and make sure that they can grow into the best version of themselves. Uh, we know uh, that our young people in Baltimore consistently go through things that will break most adults. And graduating from high school, young people, is no small feat. All of you, young ladies, have overcome obstacles, both big and small, to make this day a reality for yourselves. You've shown the world the truth about young women in Baltimore. The grit, the determination, the excellence, that they refuse to show on TV at night and notice they are not here today. And I've been here all day. They haven't been at one graduation. No matter the circumstance that you grew up in, the hardship that you faced, you all did not let that adversity keep you from your greatness. You didn't just prevail, you thrived and triumphed into that greatness. Today, young ladies, it's only possible because you remain steadfast and true. You believed in yourselves and each other. And more importantly, you're showing the world what your generation is capable of. But, young women, one of the hardest things to do in life is to become. And today, as we celebrate you, as we thank you, I challenge each and every one of you to become who you are meant to be and to step inch by inch into your purpose, your potential, and the endless possibilities that are before you starting tomorrow. Because while today, you may have finished this portion of your race. The race of your life is just beginning. Remember that you can do whatever you set your mind to. The only thing that can stop you is you. Muhammad Ali said, impossible is nothing. Each and every one of you has a gift, but you can either manifest that gift in your talent or watch someone else live out your dreams. That choice is yours. And hear me when I say, don't sit on the sidelines of life and let life pass you by. Make the most of every opportunity and moment that comes your way because it could be your last. And stand boldly and proudly as young women of bliss do in the spotlight of your calling. We all know, no matter where life takes you today, know that every one of you has something special to contribute to the world. No one but you can keep you from your greatness and no one but you is responsible if you do not make it there. I believe in you. Your family believes in you. Everybody in here believes in you. Your city is behind you. The only question that remains, young ladies, is how deeply do you believe in yourselves? Continue to be great. Continue to soar. Continue to show the world what young women of bliss are and be in that greatness. Congratulations and thank you. As the CEO of Baltimore City Public Schools, I am so pleased and excited 
to extend my sincere congratulations to the class of 2022. I also want to thank and congratulate your families, uh, neighbors, community members, as well as the school leaders and staff who have worked alongside you and supported you in reaching this goal today. Words cannot describe how proud I am of each and every one of you. Your hard work and perseverance enabled you to reach this moment. Some of you have overcome incredible obstacles like 18 months of disruption caused by COVID-19, and others have just had personal challenges and struggles. But one thing that we know today is you are here because you dug in, you worked hard, and now the world gets to enjoy all the talents and gifts that you are bringing. You are the future and present leaders of Baltimore City. You are the ones who are going to take forth this torch today at graduation to say to the world that you have something positive to contribute. We are thrilled to be launching you officially. We know that the world needs all that you have. Thank you so much. Congratulations to all of you. We wish you the best of success in your life after Baltimore City Schools, but know that we will always be here to support you. Know that we will always be here to celebrate you. And thank you for being the class of 2022. Well, good afternoon. Thank you, um, Mayor Scott and Dr. Santalises for those wonderful words of encouragement to our community on today. And I am so excited uh, to welcome you to this commencement ceremony of these amazing, amazing women that make up the class of 2022. I am Carla Henry Hopkins. I am privileged, pleased, and I am elated to serve as the Vice Chair of Baltimore Leadership School and the Chair-Elect of our Board of Directors. I am pitch hitting today for our board chair, Linda Jones, who probably is watching online, was unable to be here in person, but sends her very best to this class and their families. You are here today to witness what happens when everyone does their part. Parents, grandparents, and extended family who raise young girls who want more and who want more for them. Teachers who study their material and present the very best of that knowledge to their students. Staff who support the academic and non-academic experiences of these young women so that you, class of 22, can be armed with the intellectual and social artillery needed to navigate this thing called life. Administrators who have gone above and beyond to ensure that the dreams of these young women are actualized. Students who showed up in the midst of a pandemic and societal uncertainty, still curious to learn and still determined to achieve. And a board of directors, my colleagues, who lend their professional and personal time skill set affiliations, and mentorship tirelessly to continue to build this bold and brilliant Bliss brand. And I want to pause a moment to recognize those very colleagues who will join me today. Won't you stand the Bliss board? We also like to recognize the wonderful founder who probably is also watching online with her husband, Brenda Brown Reaver and Phil Reaver. We miss you in person, but will you give them a hand of applause for their vision in founding the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women. No doubt this has been uh, interesting times in education. We all have had to pivot because we knew that the goal could not be lost. And so let me tell you about you, class of 22, 100% of you accepted to colleges and universities. Yeah. 
A hundred percent. Yeah, a hundred percent of you accepted to colleges and universities. You represent the entire alphabet. You have been accepted to a school that starts with every letter of the alphabet except for two. If you all are keeping count, that would be 24. 24 schools and universities, colleges across this nation you have been accepted to. You have chosen to study business administration and management, communications, computer science, dance, engineering, psychology, nursing, film media studies, sports management, and education. And you joined the ranks of alumni, many of them who are finishing college and graduate schools to begin their, their dreams of working in finance and technology, media, and some have even started their own independent businesses. This is what happens when everyone does their part. Join me in thanking the faculty, staff, and administrators, administrators for a tremendous job in challenging times. Please join me in a hand of applause for them. Thank you. To the families, to those who have gathered, I know how you feel. I want to say to you, welcome to the day that you imagined. Take some time not to let it fly by too quickly. Relish in this, the first of many milestones for your young women. And thank you for entrusting us with your most prized possession. <laughs> Class of 2022, we love you. We do. We are excited for you. We are rooting for you. And we know that you are going far. We know that you have that bliss pride, and we know that it's deep inside, but now it's time to show the world what that means. And so the mayor quoted the great Muhammad Ali, but I'm going to leave you with the words of the great philosopher, Dr. Seuss. I said Dr. Seuss, I did. You have brains in your head and feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Welcome to the rest of your life. All the best. We're rooting for you. Uh, before I give remarks about the Bliss Diploma, I would like for us to all continue to remember uh, Principal Williams and her family in your prayers and your thoughts. The Bliss Diploma was established in 2016 to recognize students who have exceeded the Maryland State Department of Education's requirements in scholarship, leadership, and service. Understanding the many pivots that the transformational class of 2022 have made during the last 14 months, every student receiving the 2022 Bliss Diploma completed additional coursework, advanced placement classes, or dual enrollment, and or a work study program, while also going above and beyond to serve their communities through community service. Today, we are pleased to announce that a significant number of our Bliss students have done just that to receive their Bliss Diploma. Additionally, Bliss acknowledges students earning a 4.0 cumulative grade point average or higher with the Gold Academic Excellence Cord. Students earning a 3.5 grade point average or higher are acknowledged with the Purple Academic Cord. And students completing 125 hours of service learning to their community they are acknowledged through the orange cord. Congratulations. Okay, y'all, I got really excited about the Bliss Diplomas. I didn't do the rest of my part. Here goes, take two. All right. I am excited to welcome our class valedictorian, Miss Destiny Ogar.
Good afternoon, Bliss parents, teachers, families, guests, and our graduating class of 2022. My name is Destiny Ogar, and it's an honor to speak for you today as our class valedictorian. <laughs> today is the day that we have all been waiting for where we officially become Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women alumni. Many of our Bliss journeys began over six years ago in 2015 when we first stepped foot into Bliss as little sixth graders. Now here we all are celebrating each and everyone's accomplishments and how far we've come as we will soon split into 60 unique pathways for ourselves. It honestly seems as if we were just doing icebreakers in Camp Leah just yesterday, but we have stuck together from then up until now. To be here in this moment between a finish line and a start line allows us to understand that consistent effort can be a challenge, but that self-accomplishment is the greatest reward. If I'm being completely honest, Bliss was never my first choice for middle school nor high school. I initially came from a private Christian elementary school with only 14 kids in my class, and I wanted to continue along that same spectrum from middle and high school. Though with the help of Miss Maisha Graves, she convinced my mother to enroll me in Bliss, ultimately ending up in me sticking with this school for the next seven years. <laughs> this choice has been a blessing to me. I don't think another school would have prepared me for the world and the next stage of my life, as well as Bliss and its faculty did. I've had teachers that have seen the greatest potential in me and pushed me towards this. I have met sisters who have allowed me to become more outspoken and step out of my comfort zone. I have encountered endless opportunities which I would have never gotten anywhere else. Almost every staff member here has played a pivotal role in my life at Bliss, transforming me into the young woman that I am today. So I want to thank anyone who has offered me advice, was my teacher, and those who participated in my life in and outside of the classroom. I can guarantee you all have set me up for the, for the successful, impactful, and innovative lifestyle that I'm meant to live. I am someone who has constantly held myself to such a high standard because ideas of perseverance and success were always instilled in me. Becoming the valedictorian came with sleepless nights, endless workloads, adversities, and failures. But through it all, I remain consistent and try my hardest not to lose motivation. I balance this all with cheerleading, which I did all seven years at Bliss, Student Government Association, <laughs> the Student Government Association, the National Honor Society, Johns Hopkins coding classes, and many other opportunities given to me. Though these experiences have helped me become a more well-rounded individual. I would never say that I'm perfect or anywhere near it but I just constantly aim to make myself and those around me proud. As many know, in the fall, I will be attending the illustrious North Carolina A&T State University as a computer science major. And HBCU has always been my first choice, and Bliss played a great part in this reasoning. Since middle school, we have been on multiple college tours, many of which were through my after-school program with Play On Purpose, or POP. As we took these tours, I was in awe of the HBCU campus life, what these universities had to offer, and the success stories that came from many of these institutions. I knew that I needed to be on the campus of an HBCU, because yes, Harvard, Yale, and all Ivy Leagues are good universities, but I discovered my own success story within a historically black college. I must give all thanks and praise to my family and parents. You all have been my number one supporters my entire life, and it is the main reason why I'll be moving on to an exciting new chapter at North Carolina a t State. All of your sacrifices and things done for me during high school years are immeasurable. Without your help, the motivation, and even times you had to yell at me and fuss me out, I'm truly appreciative of the way you raised me and the many lessons that you taught me. One specific lesson that both my family and Bliss taught me was maintaining confidence and never saying, I can't. Whenever I would say, I can't do something, my mother would quickly say, can't shouldn't even be in your vocabulary. I've always struggled with confidence, so I was taught that the power you hold within yourself is much better than that of anyone else. We must have confidence in everything that we do because with this, amazing things will happen. Today's the day that we embark on this new chapter in our lives. 
Whether excited, nervous, or overwhelmed, I want you all to know just how proud I personally am of each and every one of you. Every graduate sitting before me deserves all of the praise for all of the work you've put in over the past couple of years. So please give a round of applause for yourselves. Our time at Bliss doesn't just consider us friends, but a sisterhood, or rather, a family. I can honestly say that our time here at Bliss has truly been a ride. It's a bittersweet moment knowing that this may possibly be one of the last times I see our class sitting together. So I want to leave you all with this. As we enter into our post-secondary journey, we must carry a healthy mindset and healthy habits. There will be better things ahead in life than those experiences from the past, so we must remain optimistic about everything that is to come. Carrie Washington once said, your life is your adventure, and the adventure ahead of you is a journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential. So my beloved class of 2022, I wish you nothing but the absolute best. I love you all, and we have officially made it. Now please join me in welcoming the class of 2022 salutatorian Lauren Howard to the podium. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lauren Howard. I am the class of 2022 salutatorian. Um, today, I have the pleasure of introducing our guest speaker, Reverend Dr. Laura Hargrove. She is a native Balt Baltimorean and began her career as an inner city elementary school teacher in Baltimore, Maryland. Later, she worked in a communication capacity for a foreign policy firm, Ross Robinson and Associates serving as the liaison to the United States Congress. Dr. Hargrove received a bachelor's degree in communications with an emphasis in public relations from Howard University. In 1999, Dr. Hargrove graduated with honors from Wellesley Theological Sem Seminary upon completion of her Master of Divinity degree, concentration she's uh, ethics and public policy. In May of 20, 2009, Reverend Dr. Hargrove earned her doctorate in preaching at Wellesley Theological Seminary. Dr. Hargrove served as Director of Faith-Based Outreach for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Office of HIV Such AIDS Policies Leadership Campaign on AIDS. She continues to serve as a Senior Advisor on Faith-Related faith Issues for the Beta Associates, Inc., Dr. Hargrove lends her expertise to the work of equity, equity and social justice issues in the diverse arenas for holistic wellness. She is currently a PhD candidate in the Department of History at the esteemed Howard University. Dr. Hargrove is also certified in diversity, equity, inclusion, and inclusion work, work which she uses frequently in her current role. She is the founder of and CEO of Bokasi Ventures LLC, a consulting group that navigates and advances relational wellness and corporate social and individual spaces with a focus on education, health, culture, and spirituality. Please welcome Doc, Reverend Dr. Laura Hargrove. Thank you very much, Ms. Lauren, for that introduction to our very fine Mayor, Mayor Scott, to Mrs. Siobhan Hall-Smith, to all of the board members, family, and friends of this illustrious Bliss class of 2022. I came just for you. I came just for you. And I came just for you because when I look at you, I see that black girl magic is in the building. And it's in the building in a mighty powerful way. I was told that every class at Bliss receives a name when you first come. And I was told that your name is the Transformers. Uh-huh. Well, there's a reason why you were named Transformers. Now, long ago, it was a commonplace practice 
for us to name babies so that their names had meanings that would define and help to determine their destiny. You were named the Transformers because that is what you are destined to be. And that is what you have become. It means that you are about the business of making things better. It means that you have birthed a self-fulfilling prophecy as a change agent for better. Ladies, your reputation precedes you because you are the change that you seek. The Transformers, that which you are, is not only something that you should be proud of here today, but something that you should carry with you beyond today. Because see, word on the street is that collectively and individually, you have actualized the motto, be the change you want to see. And you have made bliss a better place because of that. You have, go on and give yourselves a hand because you deserve it. You have carved new paths with your list of firsts that you have achieved. The first class to study calculus and coding at the University of Baltimore. Come on and give it up for the class of 2022. The first class to be recognized as 11th graders of the year for Maryland Charter Schools. The first class to have student athletes. The first class to have cheerleaders. The first class to have Amazon scholars with paid internships. Come on, somebody. Some folk, some folk have street cred. But y'all folk, the sisters, the black girls with the magic in the building got NSA creds and definite creds for you to choose so many HBCUs. And the list goes on and on. You beautiful ladies are some bad man pajamas, but I only got five minutes, so I gotta keep going. <laughs> ladies, let me tell you, even though this is your commencement, the mark of your new beginning and the start of new ventures, do not leave your transformer spirit on the floor of Coppin State University. Don't leave it tucked away in your high school memories because you've got a whole lot more transformer traits, talents, and treasures in you. Traits that have not been fully illuminated nor fully actualized. Transformer traits that will make you stand out no matter where you go. So don't you dare after today let anybody hide your light because your light is supposed to shine and shine brightly all over this world. You've got transformer traits that will be welcomed by many, yes they will, but they will be despised by some. And they will be despised because not everybody will be able to handle your light of brightness. Not everybody will be able to handle what it is that you bring to the table. You got the job done and then some. So take a moment, take today, take the next several days to appreciate and celebrate you. But know that this is not about the work ending, your work is just beginning. I need y'all to turn to each other and see the transformers that you were sitting around, the transformers that you have come through this program with. Now, I'm going to date myself with this next comment. But I was just out of high school when I remember the original cartoon, The Transformer. <laughs> and that cartoon said, The Transformers, more than meets the eye. <laughs> oh, yes, it was quite popular. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it depicted a war among giant robots that could transform themselves into vehicles or other objects like the toys that you see today. And the good giants fought the evil giants as they gathered energy to survive. Well, Bliss Transformers, you have fought your own evil giants. 
You have gathered the energy not just to survive, but to thrive. The first thing that I need you to understand and take away is that you are more than meets the eye. You are bright, you are beautiful, you are tenacious young women of the class of 22, 2022. The Transformers, you, yes, you are more than meets the eye. You've mastered your stride to excel at bliss, and you have reached your first big milestone, as you've already heard from others. You've accomplished it when you were not always tipping to when you were not always tiptoeing through the tulips of life. You have succeeded when for you life ain't been no crystal stair, as Langston Hughes would put it. You have overcome obstacles with your big girl panties pulled all the way up. You have suffered great loss. Some of you have lost parents. Some of you have suffered gun violence and tragedy. Some of you have had to grow up and get up through family challenges known only to you and a select few, but you did it, boo, you did it. And you need to recognize that you are worth this moment in time. You came through, so keep on doing that thing. Work that thing. Get your runway stride home and keep on going. Keep on transforming. Keep on making the re-re happen in everything that you do with your beautiful black cells. Ride high today as you should. But when life knocks you down, as you strive to make your mark in your new universities and colleges, as you strive to make your mark in this world, remember that you are and will always be transformers. Transformers, more than meets the eye, whether you are together or apart. When life knocks you down, transformers of 2022, you get back up with your shoulders square, hold your head high, straighten your crown, and think on the things that your bliss experience has given you. Kick up the volume on your chandelier shine while you are in this world. Move through it with greatness. I said you need to have the re-re happen. What am I talking about? While you are moving out to see brand new things, to do brand new extraordinary things in this world, re-re it up. Remake it, reshape it, remold it, rearrange it, reorder it, revamp it, rework it, rebuild it, renew it, recast it, reshuffle it, restyle it, revolutionize it, and renovate it so that they will know that bliss was in the mix and do it with a spirit of gratitude, do it with a little bit of grit, and do it with a whole lot of grace. You are the Transformers, class of 2022. Be more than meets the eye when you leave up out of here. Now the part, I'm not, I'm not, I'm good, I'm good. All right, all right, so I'll, this is the part you've all been waiting for. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, and by the virtue of the authority vested in me as assistant principal of the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of both Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. I take pleasure in recommending to you the graduating class of 2022. <clears throat>
Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Chief John Davis. Yeah, let's, let's go, it's right. I was told I have to say amen to Reverend Dr. Hargrove first. Uh, I know that's right, come on. Um, uh, thank you for the assistance, Assistant Principal Collins. Um, acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by Assistant Principal Collins and by the authority vested in me as the Chief of Schools of Baltimore City Public Schools, I take immense pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2022 for the conferring of diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Dr. Darrell Brooks, Commissioner of Baltimore City School Board. All right, so in recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of the principal and the acknowledgement of the chief of schools, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as a commissioner of Baltimore City School Board, I take pleasure, so much pleasure, in accepting the graduating class of 2022 for the conferring of the high school diplomas. Congratulations. First row, please stand. I know, crying. Okay. Jemiah Anderson. Nija Brianna Nala Bats. Sujay Baton. <laughs> Sanaya Bobbitt. Danielle Chanel Brown. Paris Amir Brunson. Angel Janae Coates. Samara Ayana Crawley Wilson. Kanaya Creme. Tarina Michelle Davis. Tayana Aquanet Davis. Marissa T. DeShields. Amaya Nashe Ellis. Jamira Ashley G. Jada Capri Gill.
Tamira Danielle Hall. Janaya T. Hammett. Jerrica Harrell. Anaya Elizabeth Harris. Deshauna Devontanea Harris. Loretta Harrison. Sydney Sharnice Henderson. Asia Milan Higgins. Lauren Idea Howard. Mackenzie A. Howard. Deja Monet Johnson. Janiah C. Jones. Joshelle Danielle Jones. Kamaria Naya Jones. Morgan L. Jones. Morgan Tamara Jones. Diamond A. Leak. Kayla J. Lemessi. Tanaya Kashe Lunnan. Jordan Amira Miles. Miracle Siobhan Montgomery. Kalia Victoria Moore. Diamond Tiara Niven. Destiny Dana Ogar. Kayla Pittman. Morgan Tamara Jones. Jada Samir Ariel Player. <laughs> Ryan Jamel Pratcher. Asia Aliyah Ross. Amaya Marie Scott. <laughs> Nayara Marie Scott. <laughs> Jay. 
Demaya Iona Shepard. Kennedy Lauren Slade. Rashana Lenise Spencer. Kayla C. Thorpe. Jasmine M. Todd. Mary Lou N. Velasquez. Michelle Waters. Elea Andrea Weems. Deasia Ayanna Williams. Jayana Nakaya Williams. And our last graduate, no other than Jordan Kai Wilford. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Tamar Dennis, Bliss Class of 2016. the very first graduating class of this school. I stand here today as a product of Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women, but more importantly, a product of Baltimore City. Six years ago, I was in your shoes, anxious, excited, and proud. Despite where your emotions may be today, I am here to tell you that you will be successful in your next steps. Today, you are joining a legacy of young women who took on the challenge of being the ladies who transformed Baltimore young one woman at a time. Two weeks ago, I graduated from Coppin State University. <laughs> with my Bachelor's of Social Work and I will be attending Morgan State University for my Master's of Social Work this fall. Never stop chasing your dreams. Never forget the sisterhood and bonds created at Bliss because once a Bliss girl, always a Bliss girl. And Bliss will always, and I mean always, have your back. Take the world by storm, give back to your community, and always embody the principles that Bliss has instilled in you. Congratulations, class of 2022. Now please help me welcome my Bliss sisters to the stage, Amaya Ellis and Naja Bates. Class of 2022, please stand. I got a record. 
yeah. and face the audience. It don't matter. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the graduation tassel is a symbol of success. Some believe the reason why you place the tassel on the right is because you've earned the right to graduate. Moving the tassel to the left is symbolic of crossing over from high school to the next stage of your life. Therefore, classmates, please take your tassel in your right hand. And on the count of three, join us in turning our tassels to the left side of our caps. Ready? One, One two, two, three. <laughs> Class of 2022, please face us. You may be seated. Congratulations, everyone. Now I would like to present these flowers to Dr. Hargrove. So I would like for the, uh, the newest alumni of the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women, please stand. So Bliss uh, staff, both current and seasoned, can you all please stand as well? So, ladies, this is it. Okay, so I have to give, give you one more set of directions, okay? So, to ensure that we are exiting safely and quickly, graduates, alumni, are going to exit from the sides. Uh, families, we ask that you remain seated so that the alumni can exit safely. And then we're going to ask that you all exit through the front so that you can meet the alumni once we leave. Students, we will meet at lot E, okay? Okay.
My name is Khalil, and I'm a producer from Baltimore, Maryland. For me, music was always a way to funnel my negative emotions into something positive, but it was hard to find a way to turn my passion into a career. When I found out about the City Schools Navigator Center, I was hesitant because I'd been let down before, but the people there cared about guiding my artistic and career goals in the right direction. Now I'm studying music technology and business communications. The City Schools Navigator Center set me on track to be who I really wanted to be, me. Reach out to Nav Center today and find your path. I'm Zari, a second year law student from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm really excited to graduate college and receive my associate's degree as a legal assistant. When I finished high school, I was going through a lot and didn't know if college was looking too bright in my future. When I needed coaching to find my way from high school to college, the City Schools Navigator Center helped me apply for school and build a career path. They believed in me and never gave up on me. Reach out to the NAV Center today and find your path.